warning this video is going to be quite a dark and serious one i will be making some jokes to make you all more comfortable but don't be fooled because in this video there will be mentions of gruesome death brainwashing acts of extreme violence and some animal abuse and war so if anything like that bothers you i completely understand if you want to leave stay safe i love you and I hope to see you another time. Hi dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. I'm Reyes, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. So, made it past that warning? Feeling brave? Well, that's good, because you're gonna need it for this episode. You might be asking yourself, what in the fuckity fuck are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a certain children's television show that initially aired exclusively in Palestine. And you're probably thinking, Reyes, that's not dark. Well, the show was about teaching young kids, probably preschool age, to despise Israel and all of its people, and sacrifice everything for the country of Palestine, including their lives, and to basically use acts of extreme violence against Israel. Propaganda, if you will, but for three-year-olds. Now, if I gave all the details, we'd be here for forever. So let me give you a little backstory. Tomorrow's Pioneers was a television show that ran from April 13th, 2007 to October 16th, 2009 by a Hamas-affiliated television station called Al-Aqsa. Probably butchered that, so I'm sorry. But in the show, a girl named Sarah hosted with initially a Mickey Mouse copy pasta from the dollar store named Farfour, and would teach children messages such as anti-Semitism, anti-Americanism, and Islamism. Ah, uh, yes, anti-Semitism. I remember when I was taught that in school. Anyway, I chose a certain episode for this Let's Talk because we'd be here for hours if I gave my personal take on all of them. And the episode I chose is from season two and does not feature Farfour because they killed him off in season one. Yep, right in front of the children too. They had him interrogated and when he wouldn't back down, he was beaten until he died. So they replaced him with his cousin, Nahul. I'm not kidding, they made him his cousin. Don't get attached to Nahul, though, either, because they kill him off in this episode, too. But I think it gives a good idea of just how fucked up this show is. So, like I said, it's from season two, and it's called Asud Arrives. Probably butchered that again, so I sincerely apologize. But at the beginning of the episode, it already shows Nahul deathly ill and bedridden. And let me just say, in the episode before that, he was throwing cats around and hitting them, saying he wants to attack them. So I don't know what the fuck that was about. And his mom is explaining that they tried to transfer him to Egypt for better medical care, but were denied access because they are at war with Israel. <laughs> As you can hear in Nahul's voice, he just sounds so incredibly scared, which is highly disturbing. That would be the equivalent of me watching Blue's Clues when I was little and Blue got deathly ill. I love that show. Hell, I still love that show. Version with Steve, no one else. Anyway, Nahul's cries for help and his unusually high-pitched voice is so incredibly disturbing, and you're showing that to children as young as three. But that's not where it ends. He doesn't get help. Oh, no, no, no. Instead, they decided to make him go into cardiac arrest. Once again, on screen in front of the children. <laughs> And also, how they fucking showed that on-screen death. I cannot get over that. Why would you show that? Especially to young children. 
I just do not understand it and it makes me both incredibly sad and fucking angry even though it hasn't been a thing since 2009. Anyway, back to our host, Sarah. Is she sad? Is she mad? Is she happy? Is she glad? Nope, none of those. She's proud. Because that's what you say when a close friend passes away. I'm proud they died. That's really fucked up, Sarah. Then we're introduced to Asud, a rabbit who says he's Nahul's brother and essentially takes the place as the new co-host. I'm starting to think this show is like the defense against the dark arts position at Hogwarts because nobody lasts more than one season. They also say that Nahul's death was his wedding, which... To who exactly? The Grim Reaper? Makes no sense. Then at the end, Asud says he'll get rid of the Jews, which sounds like a certain somebody else that we know. That I can't say because YouTube does not like history very much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of my, I can't say knee slap content for this one, but content, consider subscribing if you'd like. Anyway, I love you guys, stay safe, and never let anybody take your...